The nationwide love of Ukrainians for their army is built not on authoritarian memory, but on humane reality. The army did not just absorb the best citizens, but internally cultivates love for life through the struggle with the enemy. And this cult of life accompanies the army even in frontline life. This life is significantly different from the life of the occupant, where the location of the occupational forces turns the territory into a dump, and on the berms of the Ukrainian soldiers' trenches in the warm season, radishes, young onions, and dill grow. There is a saying, a Ukrainian soldier has two higher educations, a Russian occupant has two convictions. Unlike Russian troops, no matter how bloody the battles may be, there is a lot of creativity and humor in the public presentation of Ukrainian soldiers, a lot of original songs. The creative army, through creativity, acts as a great psychologist and psychotherapist for the civilian population, for their loved ones who pray for victory. The Ukrainian army is multi-ethnic and multi-confessional. Only Russian orthodoxy is not allowed to provide spiritual guidance to soldiers. All other confessions are welcome to provide spiritual guidance. The chief rabbi of the armed forces of Ukraine is named Hillel Cohen, and the chief rabbi of Ukraine Moshe Asman blesses the commander-in-chief Zaluznyi for victory. This mutual respect and human kindness destroy all the propaganda myths of Kremlin hatemongers about Nazism in Ukraine. This is also true for Muslims. The Mufti of the Spiritual Administration of Muslims of Ukraine, Amma Murat Suleymanov, addressed the servicemen and employees of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, congratulating them on the day of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. And his predecessor, Sid Ismijilov, is now a paramedic in the Armed Forces. The video of Ukrainian soldiers singing a poignant Jewish melody at the Babanyar Holocaust Memorial Day deeply touched the hearts. Jews, Ukrainians, and Crimean Tatars all sing together in harmony. The menorah, trident, chevron with the Crimean Tatar flag were captured in the video. The reality of this inter-ethnic harmony was not disturbed by the war. It rather made society stronger. This harmony is not a social construct imposed by the political elite, but it arose from the fundamental humanistic nature of Ukraine. The leader of the Ukrainian People's Movement, Ivan Dretch, once said during the dawn of Ukraine's independence that we need to build a country in which Jews would live better than in Israel and Russians better than in Russia. Many ridiculed him, asking where then Ukrainians would live. He replied that all who live on Ukrainian soil are Ukrainians. The singing of soldiers on the day of remembrance of the victims of the Holodomor at the Babanyar Memorial is symbolic not only because soldiers died defending Ukraine and the right to life on this day but also because the sacrifice on this day doubled the feeling of tragedy and the enormous price of sacrificing one's life for the sake of life. Babin Yar is not only about the victims of World War II. Russian missiles fell on this land, in this bloody place, just a few months ago, and even on Kiev just a few days ago. But soldiers came on this tragic day, the day of remembrance of the victims of the Holocaust in Babin Yar, with mournful Jewish melodies. And this is more than symbolic. 